to me And I'm talking back Made you fall for me Now I'm falling back You're all Peace, y'all. It's your home girl, your soul sister, the queen of the ghetto gospel, the host of your favorite new music series, Chocolate City. You know it's your girl, Johnny Dimitri. And it's Friday, and I'm ready to sing. But before we get into all of that, y'all know I got a special guest each week. And it ain't no guest that's more special than the other but we got a bad bitch in the building tonight so y'all already know we gotta toast it up to my girl nanette Hello. how you doing today i'm doing well how about you take you a sip baby mm -hmm. take you a sip take your sip no i'm doing good i'm doing good um it's friday how was your friday what's cool what's cool did you go to work today I went to the morning jump off to do some co-hosting shebang. Well, that's that's good. That's that's work. That's work. That's Even work. When I look co-hosting thing that we do, I think we got great chemistry, me and Blaze. For sure, for sure. Shout out to my boy Shab Lizzie. Yes. Um, I want to know how you really doing though. How is your, how is your mental? How is your physical? How is your spiritual? Your emotional and shit. How you how you doing? I'm cool. Um, Break that down. Now, give me a little. My, my my physical child, I need to get back in the gym. Ah, baby, baby, <laughs> these days coming up here, I said, oh shit, <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go to that gym. <laughs> <laughs> but as far as my mental, I'm cool. Um, okay. If you're not feeding finance and fuck me, I really don't care about opinions. So. I wait, just, hold so, on. Don't bother. Oh, wait, can I cuss? I'm yes, sorry. you can. Okay. <laughs> you can cuss, but let we gonna start mm -hmm. this off early. Mm -hmm. So I always write down a quote mm -hmm. that my guests say. You might see it on a t-shirt. Okay. I don't know. But you said if say that one was on. If you're not feeding, financing, or fucking me. Okay. <laughs> okay. Three F's. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's mm -hmm. about your opinion. I'm mm -hmm. just saying. Mm -hmm. If you not say it one more time, baby, for the people in the <laughs> back. <laughs> financing and fucking. <laughs> wow, I'm sorry you just threw me all off. Was we on emotional or spiritual, bitch? I, I don't even know. Just keep oh, going. How you feeling? How you feeling? You not feeling fine. Feel like I mean, I can't complain. There's no complaints. It's, you know, wake up every day and figure out how to outdo myself. Right. No complaints. No so, as you know, this is Chakra City. Mm -hmm. Um, but um, I I, I want to kind of try something new on you. And it's, I, I want to get on a little bit of dirt. I ain't gonna lie. Okay. I just want to get on a little bit of dirt. So we, we gonna throw it out right here. Um, before we get into anything, I just got to know where your head at. Tell me, um, Shaka Khan or Anita Baby, right off top. Oh. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go with, oh. Huh? Man, I'm still writing. Though. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna Baker go. said, "Cause you got to yeah. be here a while." Uh -huh. Shamita Baker. No, 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 no. You got to choose one. Oh, man, you got um, to choose one. <laughs> I'm gonna go. Maybe Anita. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go with Anita. Why do you say that? Because. Shaka Khan can still sing now. Mm -hmm. Sometimes just be a little hollering ish. But she can sing. Understood. But she can sing. Oh, I don't know, but Anita got the low the the low tones. And I like the low. But then Shaka, she auntie gossip type singing. All right, I go back. I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna go. Who? Oh man. <laughs> Who is it? Vocally, I'm gonna say Shaka Khan. Songs. Nah, because Anita do got the low. I don't know, child. That's I can't do both. We got my girl Bree Nikhil and Lamar Creations is in the building with us. It's it's a whole star power. Yeah, I don't know. I ain't even gonna ask them because I feel like it's gonna be just as much bullshit as she feeding me right mm -hmm. now. So we gonna We're gonna say Anita. Anita, Anita, final answer. We're going to toast to Auntie Anita. Mm -hmm. Got to toast to Auntie Anita. Yeah. No, but of course, Shaka is a great, 
and oh. it is a great we can't take yeah. it away from these ladies but you were great as well you know and, and this segment is called who the f or the fuck we can go mm -hmm. who the fuck are you tell yeah. these people who you are what you do why are you here okay how we know each other come on tell me something I'm just get into it. Yes, baby, get into well, it. We free up in here. The next, I am a singer songwriter. Um, I have an EP out called A Bad Love Story. I also have an album out called Fields, F E E L Z, period. I also have some singles with Lamar Creation called Superman Mad. I also mm -hmm. have a side first sick that I'm featured on called Blind. I also have a rap song called Me Versus Me. Got some new music coming out soon. I just be working a little music. I'm doing the shows and whatnot. And just being myself. So tell me, I know I know Lynette as a figure is somebody who know you work hard. Mm -hmm. I know you I know you do your shit. Mm -hmm. Tell me how long have you been doing your shit? And how did you get into doing shit like this? Music. Yes. Um, so I did music, well, I would say my whole life. Like I grew up in the church and I would always sing at church. Um, my mom nice. was a singer. Okay. So I would do weddings and funerals with her. I just always thought I could hold a tune. I was always a writer before I thought I was okay. a singer. I was like, I could hold a tune. It ain't terrible, but mm -hmm. I'm like, I ain't no singer. So, um, High school happened, and I'm in the locker room, and I'm just singing to myself. You know, I had a, a it was either an iPod or a Walkman, one or the other, child. Okay, okay. One or the other. <laughs> Maybe it was an iPod, I think. <laughs> Anywho. Um, and some girls heard me. They're like, oh, my God, you can really sing. You should go and do the talent show with us. And I'm like, ah, okay, fine, whatever. Did the talent show, and that was my first time on stage as far as, like, not doing church or funerals or stuff like that. And I was like, damn, I kind of like this. Kind of and we did the girl group for a little bit. We did um, the March of Dimes. We opened up for Channel 7 News. We did the National Anthem on there. <laughs> we did a bunch of stuff that, like, as a girl group. Um, and then, obviously, as most girl groups. <laughs> we did, uh, you know, went on separate ways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I still started, you know, I kept singing. I took vocal lessons, kept doing that. And then um, I fell in love with a bitch. And then I stopped doing music. Wait, no, 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 no. Oh, shit. Let, so we gonna take a sip. Yes. Take, take a sip on it. You say you fell... Fell in love with a bitch boy. Mm -hmm. With a bitch boy. A bitch break boy. break that down. Yes. That's what led you into this shit right here. Well, I did music before I met the bitch boy. <laughs> and then once we met... <laughs> this girl is crazy already. <laughs> we just getting started and she... <laughs> I okay. have my own vocabulary. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> fell in love with a bitch boy. I fell in love with a bitch boy. Okay. A okay. bad love story EP out now. Mm. <laughs> but um, I was with him for 14 years and I wasn't doing okay. music. Yeah. Because I was, you know, trying to focus on being a wife and quote unquote and stuff like that. Understood. Obviously, it didn't work out. And then I just started to drown myself in myself. And it's like, who am I? Get back to your music, get back to you. And that's how A Bad Love Story, my EP became that, Fields was right after that, and I've just been hustling since. So I just took that negative space that I was in and just, cause I don't know if it's the Virgo in me, I give myself a time, mm -hmm. a time limit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I give myself a time limit. I'm a Pisces. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. my best friend is a Pisces. Okay, okay, mm -hmm. yeah. But I give myself a time limit like, okay, don't feel bad for yourself after like at least two months, child. Like, get over it. Mm, yeah. Life goes on. Yeah. Like, yes, man. You know how yes, many man. great men out here? It's a bitch boy. Like, you crying over a bitch wow. boy? Stop it. <laughs> a bitch boy. Mm -hmm. You crying over a. Excuse me. <laughs> you crying over a bitch boy? Child. It's the audacity for me. Over a <laughs> bitch boy. Mm -hmm. Hashtag bitch boy. You a bitch star. Boy. You a star. Some shit with that. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Um. Bitch boy. <laughs> but since you know, since we started talking about the boys, give me um, boys to men of Black Street vocals on. Boys. Mm -hmm. Or Black Street vocals on. Damn. Ugh. 
black to me. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> it don't work like that. <laughs> You act just like a Virgo. I see. I see. Oh, you're sure. Virgo. Oh. Virgo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Little boy. Maybe, but ah, I don't know. They both got. I'm on that. I'm on some bullshit. I see this. Oh, that's yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Look. Maybe boys to men. Maybe. Ooh, wait. Hold on, cause, <laughs> cause <laughs> they. Ooh. Cause you know when that hair be moving, and why you be doing that <laughs> yeah. hair? Yeah, you know who else got that tank? He do. He got that. He little... do. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he do. I'm gonna go with the pause. The head. Okay. <laughs> boys to me. Okay, boys to me. You know, I would never choose the things that I'm That's asking crazy. you. I would never choose. No, yeah, cause... but it's my show. You know, so how can I <laughs> do these things? But before I ask you. Um, Anita Baker or Shaka Khan. Now, this segment of the show is called Tell Me Something Good. Mm. Chocolate City is all about the artists. And when I say it's all about the artists, it's all about being positive, mm-hmm. being showing the optimism of artistry. Because, like I say, a lot. Everybody can love us, but everybody can hate us and envy us when it comes down to the DJs, the promoters, the producers. It's like everybody got something to say about people that choose to, you know, show and express their artistry. Yeah. So this is a platform <laughs> and a show. Yes, this is a platform and a show where artists can feel good. And not feel guilt, not feel pressure, not feel bad about being an artist. So, when it comes down to your artistry, I want you to tell me something good about you doing your craft. What makes you good about being the most? The singer, the artist, the writer, the net. Authenticity, I would say. Mm. I think everything is authentic i write from the heart mm-hmm. a bad love story was literally my feelings mm-hmm. my album feels is the same thing like i just like my friends who know me they're like oh like it's like your diary and i'm like well yeah like if you don't know me you'll probably just think there's songs but yes. like every song mm-hmm. has a meaning and that's how for me it's therapeutic that's how i get out do you keep fuck you <laughs> right. so i would just say <laughs> Authenticness. I'm just going to be myself regardless. I love that. I love that. What's something that you love about yourself outside of being the... My name. Mm, I think it's just so different. And I'm a different person. Like, Mm -hmm. everybody, a lot of people have the same names. And I'm just like... And when I was a kid, I always felt different anyway. And then the older I got, I'm like... You know, I think my parents was on something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that damn it. And that's your, and yeah. that's your real name. That's my real that, name. Okay, okay. Yeah. I like that. I like that. Mm-hmm. I admire that, actually. Um, when it comes down to my name, it's a it's a shortened version. Mm-hmm. My name is actually Johnny. That's mm-hmm. the first time I'm saying that on Chocolate City. That's crazy. We like four or five episodes in, but my name is Johnniqua. I go by Johnny Dimitri, mm-hmm. obviously. My name is Johnniqua Dimitri. You know, and That's I, unique. yeah, I, I admire what you say, you know, when it comes down to just representing your name mm-hmm. and, you know, even honoring your parents for yeah. giving you your name. I don't know what my mama was going through when she named me, baby, but, you know, we here now, <laughs> 31 years later, we, we up in here, you know, yeah. Johnny Dimitri, Johnny Equal, whatever you call me, that's me. So appreciate you for that. But, um. <laughs> we back on bullshit. Go, go ahead. We gonna we gonna cheers because I'm giving you a hard time, ain't it? Yes, yes. Okay. Oh, it's not a hard time. Mm-mm. Okay, mm-hmm. we gonna see how we can make this harder. Yes, oh, it is a hard time. Oh my God, it's terrible. <laughs> Chris Brown and Usher. Huh. <laughs> um, I'm still feeling like this bitch, but not calling y'all bitch boys, sure. but she just. <laughs> Stop playing with Oh, me. all right. Uh, I'm going to go with Usher. 
break that down. He just had a hell of a run. I think he's still living in so it. So Chris but... Brown, I think overall is a great entertainer. Okay. Um, he got some hits. He could dance. He's more than just R and B. Mm-hmm. He's pop. Mm-hmm. He's literally whatever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he can rap. He overall, he's a great entertainer. Did you see how he came and played like? Yes, bitch boy. <laughs> But uh, Usher, I like Usher vocals, and I love the old school to me sound of. Ah, uh, see, it, there's two different eras, so it's like I just like the not old necessarily, well, not necessarily, but like if you look at a catalog, like I like the old school okay. Usher, you know, like. <laughs> <laughs> when he was doing that, you know, Chris Brown was probably on a thing young with the lisp and everything. You know, so it's just like, uh, yeah, 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 like 12. Yeah. You know, it's just like, dang. And Usher was already grown. Right, he was already say. grown. Okay, you know? okay. That's okay. just like, okay, I can I can feel that. Yeah, they both amazing. Janet Jackson or Beyonce? And we're yeah. talking. We're talking iconic because you know, do I'm not saying vocals. No, I'm trying to think like who overseas, who gets fans that's screaming more. I'm asking you. Mm. I'm going to say icon. I'm going to say because she's the only female that literally can have concert tickets that's like a thousand dollars and nothing people you know skipping out on their rent they ain't doing that for Janet so I'm gonna say Beyonce <laughs> mm. last one couples argument and whatnot <laughs> L- last one and this one is obviously cliche mm-hmm. Martin the Fresh Prince no I'm kidding <laughs> so I tell everybody this but Martin is my favorite comedian mm-hmm. And in Thin Line Between Love and Hate, the name of the club that he worked mm-hmm. for was Chocolate City. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You right. So he's sitting here on Chocolate City. Mm-hmm. Shout out to my boy, Martin Lawrence. Um, Who was wrong with that? Oh, don't. You don't come on here okay. asking me no questions. We'll talk about. <laughs> we going to end the show with that one, though. Uh, <laughs> cliche, mm-hmm. of course. Cliche, of course. Um. Michael Jackson and Prince. We're talking mm-hmm. vocals, influence, well, influence and over, iconic. Overall, it would be Michael Jackson overall. Um, Break that down. Because he was an international star. Like, not saying that Prince isn't, but them people, we hyperventilate over some Michael Jackson. Mm. Like, Probably, we'll probably never see a time where anybody will be that big. You know what I mean? Sure. Like, people... What about Beyonce, though? They're right. Maybe her. Maybe. Maybe. But it's still a different... Like, Michael was a whole different level even than Beyonce. You know what I mean? Like, Michael, that's different. Prince is an incredible musician. Mm-hmm. That's where and they both, of you know... He played, like, every instrument, right? Right. Like everything. He played everything. Okay. Yeah, so. Mo, Jordan or LeBron? <laughs> Mo, Jordan or LeBron? LeBron, my girl. Oh my God, break that down. LeBron, to me, what was Jordan doing at 40? Right? Uh, wow. Retired? Was right? it? What was that? I would assume so. Mm. LeBron still out there? Who? LeBron, all right. Shout out to LeBron and Bron. He just had Body of work much bigger. Met. Okay, okay, you're right about that. You're right about that. You're right. Um, yeah, it kind of, it kind of, I don't know. The only, oh, yeah. the only oh, thing no. that I can say that Jordan has over LeBron is Jordan's. Right, which makes it yeah. itself. Yeah. Nobody rocking no bronze, whatever he yeah. is. Yeah. You know, he's he's rock, he's rock. a billionaire. He's a billionaire. How many times you gonna see somebody rock some? I didn't bronze. saw people rock bronze. You, can, you, can, you can count on one hand. No, I didn't saw people. I didn't put the thing down. <laughs> I didn't saw people so, like, rock bronze. I would, <laughs> I would say Bron, like 
Like he said, out of he's, 10 guys, you're going to see about eight of them in Jordans. I would say six, probably two in bronze, just on some hoop and shit. No. But the only thing is, Bron has been, you know, he's been doing it like a substantial mm-hmm. amount of time. His son has graduated to the league now. That's something that Jordan didn't do, mm-hmm. you know? So he has done things that Jordan did not do. Mm-hmm. So, I, you know, I, I'm i definitely... He baseball, too. But, I mean, that doesn't mean... Has. He was, was not... No, no, no. no, no. He played golf as well. Right. We're not going to talk play. about that. I mean, yeah. there's things he probably haven't done either. I would pro- I would I would not choose, but I would respect anybody that choose Jordan. Yeah. I would respect anybody yeah. that choose Ron. Just had to ask somebody else in the room and start some shit because that's what I'm on. I'm on some <laughs> I'm on some shit st- I'm I'm not, yeah. you know. Um but but getting back into Miss Nanette, this this segment is called Flex. Oh. So tell me something that you went through that you had to overcome in life that makes you stronger? Oh, um, there's a few things. Come on, you got a little time. Mm-hmm. I mean, I would say maybe being the oldest of seven. Oh, um, that has I'm the youngest, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that has definitely taught me a lot <laughs> yeah. of patience. Okay. Yes, and I'll just say, uh, now you you the type of oldest to say like, no, nah, you know, I raised them. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. I don't have kids mm-hmm. now, Chad. Maybe <laughs> that was birth control. Oh, mm-hmm. facts. Understood. Like, <laughs> yeah. Um, what what about your career? I'll say, what's something that you had to overcome? Thank you for what you overcame in life and you know what I mean. But what's something that you had to overcome in your career as an artist um, maybe, that makes you strong? Maybe people um, taking me for who I am. Um, Break that because down. when I first came out, everybody thought I was a spam. Because, you know, I'm like on everybody live, on everybody whatever, like, oh, no. I had no on the net, I had my, my link. Straight my shit. Okay, so okay, then nobody okay. know who I was. And plus, I'm not from the city. Uh, so everybody have a connection with everybody. And I don't. Mm-hmm. So I had to overcome, like, people actually being like, okay, who the fuck is this? Let me just <laughs> listen to the music. Because mm-hmm. this girl pops up every time. Like, every second there's a live, here she comes. So overcoming that. And then plus being in here, overcoming the people that want to discredit the hard work that I put in, mm. um, the actual music that I have out, mm-hmm. Um, mm. and thinking that I am so ever desperate to fuck for streams. Mm. <laughs> like, and think, bitch, and thinking right. that. Mm. But I made a big post about That's it, hard. and I tagged everybody name in it, because baby, you're not cool. What we're not about to do is lie on the next coochie, okay? <laughs> I said, no, the net didn't have to fuck Shondell. No, the net don't have to fuck Shondell. No, I said, Shondell was like, you didn't have to say this, but I'm glad everybody know. We never had, and I was like, thank you, because I'm sick of y'all. Don't try to discredit my hard work. I go anywhere that I go, I'm in somebody's face. Hi, hello, my name is Nanette. Stream my yeah. shit. Just because you a lazy fuck and want to mm-hmm. suck dick for a strand, don't mean we're all like that. Okay? Just saying. I'm not in shit is all I got to say. Johnny didn't say it. Let's do Johnny didn't say oh, shit. Man, let that. Okay? Yeah, baby. <laughs> no, 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 no. Right. Don't do that. Don't do that without doing that. Yes, I right. said it. Fact. I'm just saying, like you, it's really? crazy. Mm. It, it, the, the foolery is crazy. Like y'all, y'all, y'all well, like damn. I said, it me versus me. Worry about my body's bitch. Stay out my coochie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. You know what, my lord? I am it's having a you. great time today. Yeah, all in the music. <laughs> this yeah. is a good show, bitch. This is all right with me. Um, <laughs> bang the gavel. Right. <laughs> Judge, do not bang that. <laughs> Tell me, no, no, no. Tell me what keeps you motivated. 
first of all, let me say, I love that you're a Martin fan. Yes. But, sh- <laughs> <laughs> but tell me what keeps you motivated. Now, you just, I ain't gonna lie, you said a mouthful. Mm-hmm. You just said mm-hmm. some shit that needed to be said. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I'm pretty sure, like you said, it's in the, in the music. So I'm glad that you got it off your chest there. But I'm glad that this is a yeah. platform where you feel comfortable to get that shit off mm-hmm. your chest. But Tell me what keeps you motivated Um, in doing your shit. Just the hard work. Like, sometimes I just go, 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 and then I have people that's in my corner that sits me down and like, hey, do you realize how much you've accomplished in just this time? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, dang, I don't even think about that. So that, to me, is more motivating to, like, how can I outdo myself now? Like, what can I do now? Mm -hmm. How can I... Be better. How can my um, my lyrics, my words, all of that, everything? <laughs> you know, um, and that it kind of leads me into the next part of mm-hmm. of some advice that you would give to a person that is not as motivated or is in a spot, you know, that you were in that you overcame, and that is it for me. Is learning to pretty much enjoy what you pray for. You can mm-hmm. pray so hard, Lord, please let me just have the the means and the voice and the gift to release this song. And you can release that song. And it's like, you never did it. It's like, okay, well, how can I do this? Or how can I do it? Appreciate that your prayers has been answered and you actually did something that you mm-hmm. prayed for. Appreciate your answer for you. Yeah. So that would be my my gemstone to the people on, you know what I mean? Advice that you would give to somebody that's been in the shoe, that's in the shoes okay. that you've been in. So you you drop a gem. Give me a gem. Um, only you can change your outcome. Um don't feel bad for yourself. You know? Like, or at least just for a little bit. Like we're all human, we all Feel how we feel, but don't sit and soak in it. Mm, only you can change your outcome. You a real Virgo. Mm. I love that. And I, I love that, <laughs> man, because it's hard to say that. Mm. It's hard for people to receive things like that without, it is. without them feeling like, well, you ain't got no compassion for me. And you ain't, yeah. you don't and know I what do. I'm going through, I, you know? And the thing is, I do, but, but you I tell get the truth. A, a time limit. Girl, we not about to be crying over this man Understood. for three, four, five months. Get it together. Yeah. <laughs> No, I understand. You like, I'm going to give you the first month, maybe even two. But after that, all right. Mm-hmm. You know. Let me what? ask you this, though. Celine Dion or Adele, vocals only? I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with Celine because, look, the only reason why, because I had went on this road trip to Washington, D.C., okay. and they played the hell out of that damn Adele song, and I don't even want to order the album. When okay. I tell you it was back to back to back to the house, I don't want to listen to Adele another day of my goddamn life. Mm-hmm. After mm-hmm. listening to that album mm-hmm. for like four hours straight, we went from Virginia to Washington, D.C. That was at least maybe like three hours. Mm-hmm. That whole time, listen to that Adele album, I don't want to hear no more Adele. Mm. Damn, that's the that, only ooh, reason. I'm going to have to sip to that on my own. Please that's don't the only sip. Reason. Do not sip with me. Because I like Adele. Adele. It's like Adele. Woo, that just I hit like me a Adele vocally, I think, is better. But that's Ooh. Barbie for life. <laughs> oh, you just you just hit me. It was right just there. like, oh my right God, there. I don't want to, like, throw the, throw the album out. I don't want to hear it no more. Mm-hmm. You ruined it for me. <laughs> her or Scissor? Um, her. Okay, break that down. Her, um, I think, sounds vocally better. Mm-hmm. And her as a musician as well plays it. Mm-hmm. And um, I like her lyrics a little bit more. They have to mm-hmm. me more substance. Not saying this is a don't, but SZA be saying some shit that's like, "Oh, this bitch crazy." <laughs> okay, got it. But you you gonna miss it because the way she sings. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. For sure, for sure. Like I just kill my ex, like girl. Okay. <laughs> well, he probably was a bitch boy. He you know? was a bitch boy. He gotta be. Last, <laughs> last one. Last one. 
Eric Benet or Maxwell? I'm going to go with Maxwell. Okay, break that down. Break that down. Um, Maxwell got them leaves. You ain't see the leaves? I did. We're going to move. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so, this is going to say, don't bad me. I'm sweating. <laughs> Did you see the braids with it though? It was yeah. the braid me yes. combo. Okay. Okay. With pretty wings. Huh? <laughs> this 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 segment is called Drip Too Hard. So obviously it's about, you know, your drip, your style, your fashion. I'm a big fashion and, and, and style person. So I want you to rate your own drip from one, one through ten. As far as overall? Overall, right now. Right give, now, give me both. Right give me now, both. I'm just in a regular, regular summer dress because it is summer net. It is. Um, <laughs> just <throwing laughs> summer net. Something or whatever. Um, <laughs> but as far as my style, mm -hmm. I mean, I think the gal be killing it, okay? Sometimes I do feel like I'm overdressed because everybody say, oh, be dressy. And when you tell me dressy, I'm yeah. gonna be dressy. Yeah, yeah. And I come in there like, I just wasted a whole fit check. Baby, been there. Been uh, there. Mm -hmm. So, yes, I would say out of. I ain't gonna give myself a 10 because that's like well, too perfect, but I can do it like an eight and a half. <laughs> eight point five. Eight point right. five. Nine. Okay. Yeah. So the shades be matching the fits and whatever. And, and, and I love it. I love it. Make sure the bitch, let me write that down. Mm -hmm. I'm I'ma just say make sure yes. the shades match the fit. Baby. But while I'm doing that, tell me how much does fashion or style play a role in your artistic career? A lot. Mm -hmm. My bank account. Ooh. Bitch, stop. Stop it, please. Uh, no more. <laughs> yeah, at it again. <laughs> so... <laughs> So it, it, it's safe to say you 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 know you would spend a little coin on on look, your look. I I do. I love look, looking put together. I love having my hair done. I love having yes. makeup. I love like I'm a girly girl. I love mm -hmm. being feminine. Um, give me a dress, please, and thank you. Some yes. heels, even though I might look like fucking Bambi, I would still be <laughs> cute in them. <laughs> so you don't walk in heels. I do. Okay, okay, but you just got your own kind of walk in. You got a signature walk in here. Okay. It depends okay. on the hill. Sometimes <laughs> you might get a little, a newborn something. All right. And sometimes you might get the model walk. It just depends on the shoe. <laughs> What's some of your uh, go to looks when you're performing, when you're chilling, you know what I'm saying? When you at work? It depends on. Um, just how I feel. A lot of my fits are how I feel. And give me, give me grown and sexy. Give me fly as fuck. And just give me cute as, cute and comfy. Cute and comfy would be something like this. Okay. Just throw on a dress. It's comfy. Okay. I'm a dress person. I love dress and skirts and stuff. I think I have great legs. <laughs> so I love to show them off. Um, Shoot. <laughs> and then for, which say grown and sexy. Grown and sexy. It might be another dress, but it might be more body con. You might see the twins make an appearance. Okay. Or whatever. Okay. Um, you know, with the, you gotta have the accessories and, <laughs> you know, I'll probably do that. And then we fly as fuck. Oh, it depends on the event. Because every Fly is just different. Mm. It's a little event. Uh, so I'm give me, really give me, a, give me some, give me some. I, ooh, give I me mean, some in your mind. Something that's like fly for me. I'm extra, so if you okay. give me like a nice, like long dress or something with okay. a split. Dresses. Yes. Nanette love loves dresses. dresses. I love dresses. My mom does too. I've mm -hmm. I've always been like a a tomboy. I've never been the most feminine or the most. I used to be a tomboy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like so <laughs> it was over. I was like, oh, I'm a girl. Okay. <laughs> so, so this last one, I'm gonna let you go on this one. This this last segment is called "Stop Being This." Mm. Mm -hmm. Stop being this. <laughs> So, you got to tell me who you crushing on. Crushing? Re yes, regardless if it's a celebrity crush, it's somebody that I know, somebody you know. You got to tell me. 
Mm-hmm. You said nothing was off limits, right? No, yeah, I'm trying yeah, to think. Yeah, I'm just yeah. trying to think, though. I Boy, I got a question. Yeah. Um, Put it out there. Especially what? if you want to make a love connection. That man, um... I feel sorry for it, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's his name. Um, yeah, yeah. Yes, I forgot his last name. He played. He played Candyman. Now Candyman, he was a little like. Mm. Oh, well, I like, know you're talking about. He was about. a Watchman too. He played in something cute. else. The yeah. new Candyman. I know you're talking about. I think he's cute. Tall, dark, handsome. I think he's cute. Mm-hmm. Damn, what's his name? Yeah, yeah. So, chill. Okay, we gonna come back to that. Yeah. Who crushing on you? I mean, who is it, Cho? Bitch, so I knew you were going to go there. Shout out to the Nom Nomers. <laughs> the Nom. The who now? The Nom Nomers. Break that. If so, it's what I'm thinking, break that uh, down. Yes. So I have a song <laughs> called Choco that's not out yet. And I said, chew this ass. That's one of the lyrics. I know. I'm, I'm just so off. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I said Nom Nom in the song. So now everybody just. Say not the nom nomers and that's mm, nom nomers be out chill, baby girl. I don't have anything else to say. I have my own vocabulary. I promise you. <laughs> tell these people, look y'all. Tell these people where they can find you on anything and everything that they can find you. And what you got coming up? Okay, so what I have coming up. Y'all it. Y'all it. Y'all gonna be like, what do I get? I don't know. Um, so I have on August 1st, RB Thursday, we'll get this D Lady Night um at Shop Talk. Okay. So tuned in at seven o'clock. On the seventh, I have the wild hair. Um, ID to G, he's throwing his seventh year at a ah, I'm gonna fly. So I'm gonna be there performing there. The 16th, we have Cherie Sloan Smoke Cello. If you, you know, smoke it is smoke, smoke. So that celebrate her, you know, her birthday or whatever. And then the 18th, there's a hip, the Laugh Out Loud hip hop comedy show that is thrown by the Fly Cool Club. Okay. So I'm going to be there. And then the 24th, it is Summerfest, my Radio Chicago Summerfest. I think everybody and mama going to be there, chat. For sure, for sure. Follow me everywhere in the net music, and then you'll see all those shows. You can go. It's a blessing to see you booked and busy, for sure, for sure. But once again, it's your home, girl. Your soul sister, the queen of the ghetto gospel, the host of your favorite new music series, Chocolate City. It's Johnny Dimitri. It's Lynette. And guess what? It still ain't over. We got Johnny on the spot segment coming up. So keep it locked. We'll see you soon. Peace. All of this chocolate. All of this chocolate got my pockets thick as my body. I run this city, baby, who gon' stop me, spot of my daddy? But I still protect my neck, so you gon' have to come correct That's why I call my girl in there, I say, what's up, sir? Fly through, bought the champagne and the vibes, too Make sure you look fly, boo, because I will, I mean, I do Reside on the west side, too, but 294, that's my crew It's a 745 star time crew, she say, hell yeah, Johnny, I got you Hell yeah, Johnny, I got you Yeah, Johnny, I got you. <laughs> Yo, man. Well, let me catch the beat, though. All right. <clears throat> Competition me versus me. Yep, N-A-N-E-T-T-E. Fast way, no road. Yeah, lead to me. Transcending up so typically. Yeah. Name starting to push way heavy. Rolling through the wind, not steady. No, you won't ever catch me lagging. Cause I'm more fighting a dragon. Ain't no Ali, I still rock the boat. Me and Crowd might as well call me the goat. I'm always gonna pop my shit. If you don't like it, then beat it, bitch. Pass me the one, don't fuck it up since. Even on my worst, they don't suffer no miss. Pull up on a nigga cause I got that grip. Can fuck with my swag, can fuck with my dress. <laughs> Chocolate City up in this bitch. Ah. <laughs> uh. Johnny D up in his bitch. Yes, hey! Lady up in Chocolate City. Yes, sir! Why Johnny D sitting here looking pretty. Yes! <laughs> Yo! Hi. Fuck with us. I mean, we
wait to do one more again or whatever. Hang <laughs> on, you don't catch my drift. <laughs> you did that shit, sis. Shut up. We out.